What's up, y'all? Echo Slash here, and welcome back for another video. Today, I'm going to talk about something that I really want to talk about for a while now, and that is Bat Ponies versus Vampire Bat Ponies. Now, yes, I've been in the argument in the past, you know, with a lot of people telling them that there are two major differences between them, mentally and physically, between them both. And I think, you know, me explaining a video will be better, you know, because typing it out and make essays upon essays that <laughs> they are different, I think, that that's just wasting my time. I think making a video about it would be a lot more better. And also for the newcomers to my channel will know that, oh, there's a difference between them both. So, uh, the sources of what comes to the bad pony side of this video, because we don't really know much about bad ponies for the... Sources for the Vampire Bat Ponies, I'm going to use the episode Bats for Flutter Bat. I'm going to use that kind of sources to cover it. But for Bat Ponies, there's a website called Bat Pony Wiki. And you could I uh, put in the link description for you all so you can check it out for yourself. You know, there's a lot good background for them. And one uh, really well put together so you all can have like, a better understanding of what Bat Ponies are. Now, yes, Bat Ponies are canon. But unfortunately, we only saw him twice out, out of all six seasons f during this corner of the video. Out of all six seasons, we didn't see like tons of bad points. We only saw him twice. One in season two when they uh, carry Luna down for the Nightmare Nights episode. And one in uh, season five finale where uh, Nightmare moves there and he got her guards around her. So, yeah, that's the only time we saw bad ponies. And um, and we didn't, we don't have a single episode about bad ponies, like where they're from and whatnot. So yeah, but that's for a different view for a different day. Uh, maybe I will make a different view about bad ponies specifically. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about them both. Um, and I found this uh, image on Google, and this image shows Flutter Bat and this Bat Pony OC. And I think it will work great for our cause, uh, for the, um, you know, for, for my video. And I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, and as you can tell, you know, already the looks are completely different. And also it points out, like, what is different. Like, for example, the wings are different. Like, the color of the vampire wings is exactly the same color as, you know, the main body. As for the wings on the... Bat Pony, that is the same color as a mane and tail. You know, there's stuff like that, you know, and there, it, it does make them identify very differently. Of course, the ears are different. Um, you know, the vampire ears is more detailed, more open and whatnot, and then you get the Bat Pony ears, which has a little, I guess, I will call it a puffball <laughs> on the ears and whatnot. And then, of course, you got the eyes, the pupils on the, um, Vampire bat ponies are still round, and they turn red when reddish pink color. De it depends what color your OC's eyes or a pony's eyes was in the first place will turn red or reddish color, and the bat pony's eyes are like cat-like uh, look. You know, like a slit. You know, one night and the eye could be any color, of course, but you know, and the vangs. On a vampire bat pony, are longer, uh, you know, good for sucking up juices from the fruit and whatnot. And then the bat ponies, they do have veins too, but are much much smaller in size. And I believe is used to you know, you know, just you know, chew up harder fruit stuff that normal ponies cannot eat. You know, like fruits are more harder and whatnot. Um, and Personally, I do believe that bat ponies and vampire bat ponies, you know, they both eat fruit. I don't think near bone blood suckers or anything. Or bug eaters, I don't know about that one. You know, bat ponies be a bug eater. Um, but we gotta wait for an episode on that one, if they are bug eater or not. But for now, I'm just gonna say they are fruit eaters, just like a vampire bat pony. And speaking of similarities, there there are some similarities between both two, but I'll talk about that in just a sec. Uh, Brad, we're talking about differences, 
And of course the detail, let's go back on the wings for a sec. The details on the wings are much different and whatnot. So, but yeah, you guys get the gist. You guys get it. Uh, there are differences between them both. Um, but yeah. And um, the personality traits and whatnot. Vampire bat points act more, let's just say ammo like And the only time... You ain't only time you see a, a vampire bat point is when you know a point guy you know if a spell is casted on you know a pony basically that turns into a bat a, a vampire bat point. Now I don't know if it only affects his Pegasus because so far we only know that it only affects his Pegasus because well flower bat being flower shy being Pegasus, um, but it could affect others. You know, uh, you never know. But they act more vicious, they act more ammo-like, you know, and they don't communicate well. Only just hisses at you, basically. Hisses, screeches at you, you know, other things like that. And as for bat ponies, you know, just like, other, just like other ponies, they're talkative, they talk to you, you know, you talk to them. You know, just like you have a normal conversation with one of them compared to the um, vampires. That you can't have a normal conversation with. So. And yeah. Anyways. Let's go ahead and talk about the similarities. Like I said earlier. I did mention that. Um, they both eat fruit. I do believe they both eat fruit. But how the difference is. The vampire sucks up the juices from the fruit. Bad ponies don't. I don't think so. I, personally I don't think so. I think they eat fruit normally. You know, just like a regular pony does too. But I think the diet is mostly evolved around fruit. Like apples, mangoes, pineapples, whatever. You know, you name it. They, mo they most likely will eat fruit. Hey, maybe. But I, 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 I think it, mo it fits mo morally to fruit, you know. Um, uh, another similarity is they're both nocturnal. Then, yes, bat ponies are nocturnal. Now, maybe, maybe a bad point could come out during daytime, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I don't think their their eyes will not like the sunlight. Uh, I believe their eyes are meant for darkness, more for nocturnal. Unless you put sunglasses on the bat pony, then, uh, okay, we could probably make an exception there. And and vampire bat ponies only come out at night anyways. They, you'll never see one during daytime. So, yeah. Um... And another thing I believe that uh, these two have similar traits when it comes to similar traits is they both have echolocation. And what that is, is, you know, they use the echo, you know, kind of like a real bat, you know, they do a high pitch, you know, s you know, squeal sound or whatnot. And that's why you see memes of bat points going, e, you know, and stuff like that. I know that sounds pretty silly or e. But anyways, that's where the meme comes from, from the bat ponies. But yeah, that's their echolocation. And what that is, is they will, anytime the echo will hit, you know, what's to say, a wall or a tree, it will bounce back up, bounce back. And then basically, I believe they like have a mental picture of their brains. Like, okay, there's something there. You know, it could be a tree or a, another animal, or a bug or a bird or another bat. You know, I believe they both have that kind of trait. And another trait that I believe they both have is hearing. I believe they got extremely good hearing. And, um, you know, they can hear way more better than the average pony will. So, like, for example, you know, if there's like a, basically, let's just say a dog whistle, okay? I know this is kind of stupid, but like, us humans, we will not hear the dog, dog whistle, but for the dog, they can hear it. I think that concept will, it is basically kind of the same for bad ponies. You know, like there's a high pitch somewhere, and you see the bad pony cringe or, or look at like he has attention somewhere, and you wonder, you know, what is it? You know, and it's like you hear that, and the other ponies like, nope. But anyways, um, you know, that's another trait I believe they both similarly have. Um, 
I mean, what comes with similarities? I believe that's it, you know. Um, I yeah, I believe that's it. You know, there there could be way more, um, but that's all I can think. What comes to the top of my head? What comes to their similarities? But yeah. Uh, but anyways, again, bad ponies and vampire bad ponies are two completely different types of ponies. I mean, yes, they may have a couple of similarity traits, but again, they're both completely different. And like I see, like you, like I show you guys a picture, you know, of a bad pony and a vampire bad pony, and you know, the you know bad pony wiki will tell you, you know, you know bad ponies traits and whatnot. But yeah, and I really do hope that uh, the MLP staff will create a great episode about bad ponies because I think it's about time that we should know about the whole bad pony thing, you know. Like, where they come from, where they live, or what they do, you know. Um, but in the Bad Point Wiki, they live in hollow shades. Again, do your research for yourself. You'll be intrigued. You know, I, I believe it'd be very interesting for you guys. But, yeah. Um, I think that's about it. About this uh, Bad Point versus uh, Vampire Bad Point video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys know now there are... T- they're completely different, and yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I am Echo Slash, and I'll see y'all next time.